When uh, we first started the Richard Airport business, I was 11 years old. 11 years old, and that was 1946. Herfords have been part of this ranch since 1946 when my grandpa started it with his children. His oldest children, I think, influenced him the most. Both the boys and the girls raised heifers and helped with 4-H and FFA get them more involved. And so it's been a family affair for the last 80 years or so. I had a couple of sheep for 4-H project and uh, I traded dad those sheep for the first red shirt heifer that I had. Our older brother, Gene, was, uh, was a 4-H leader and uh, an entrepreneur and he uh, thought that would be best if, that we would, if we would go into the livestock business rather, rather than the sheep business. And uh, we was, as young guys, we was all for that. Hunter County, as a cattlemen's association, bought a scale. And uh, all, the, all the people that was interested in, in uh, performance testing and weighing their cattle used the Potter County scale. We was one of the first ones to participate in that program. At first, we had all horn genetics, at first. And at that time, a high percent of the cow herd was all Herefords out there also. And that changed, so we, and then our customers were looking for cold bulls to put on their black cows, and it wasn't long, and we was 50-50 into the horned and cold. First sale was held in uh, 1959. We had probably about 45 bulls and 10 heifer calves, and I don't, they don't, I don't think they averaged 500 dollars at that time. But we was satisfied with the results of that sale and went from there. I added cows to Roush Herefords in the late 70s. I ran my cows with my dad. In 1980, we, I got to put some bulls in with the. Uh, bull sale and so in 1981 I sold my first bull in the 23rd annual sale and I believe it brought about $1,230 so we've come a long way. When we first started, first started the first sale, we always delivered the cattle ever since first sale. First sale, that was one of dad's, dad's number one project was to uh, deliver the cattle to the people that, were, that we sold them to but at that time we only had a 13 foot, ton and a half truck, but you know, compared to the ratio of the size scale of the sale, it, uh, it worked. But today, when we deliver the cattle, the cattle, cattle go in semis, they go in uh, horse trailers, and, and a lot of times, it takes us a week to get all the cattle delivered after the sale. So it's kind of been a family affair going on down the line from when we when we have a, the sale to working the cattle. The animals, the animals are in better surroundings than they were at that time too, because at that time the only time you went to see the cattle is when you want to work them, and that and that aroused them. And now we're out there walking around them and. And uh, they're just as used to us as we are to them, and cattle are tamer today because of it. The internet is probably the biggest change in this business. Emailing uh, data back and forth to the Roush Herford Association and text messaging and picture messaging has made life a lot easier and made things more streamlined. We wasn't aware of, of out of state or even much out of county in the knowledge of, of everybody's herd. But today, the knowledge is just, is just about worldwide, wherever the knowledge is available from.